A plan to slash bed and staff numbers at the women's and children's could change how long you spend in hospital. An independent review has found millions of dollars can be saved by discharging patients sooner. It's home to some of our most precious patients and apparently some very busy staff. We know that they have particular periods where they usually go over capacity. But an independent review of the Women's and Children's Hospital has found scope for significant cuts. 30 beds, 85 full-time equivalent employees, all within two years. It seems that this is once again a very simplistic report uh, that proposes blunt cuts which will compromise care. The report, however, says the hospital is spending $1,000 more per patient than its interstate counterparts. That's not something, as Health Minister, I can ignore. But to make those savings, the review found the hospital would have to become much more efficient. And the key to that would be making sure that patients are sent home as quickly as possible. New mothers currently spend an average 3.3 days in the hospital. That could be reduced to the interstate average of 2.7. No one is going to be discharged before they're, they're clinically ready and, and are well to go home. My wife wanted to get out of hospital as quickly as she could. The plan is now up for public consultation, along with the proposal to cut paediatric services at the Modbury Hospital, which the opposition today promised to scrap if elected. Ben Avery, Nine News.